10 Plants That Eat Animals These extraordinary organisms challenge our perception of plants as passive members of the ecosystem. Get ready for a journey into the darker side of nature, where the line between flora and fauna blurs, and plants display their predatory prowess. How are you guys? It's Aaron Polo TV here. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my channel so you'll always be updated with my new videos like this. So let's get started. Our first stop takes us deep into the rainforest, home to the tropical pitcher plant. This cunning predator has transformed its leaves into elaborate pitfall traps. The plant's vibrant colors and enticing nectar aroma lure unsuspecting insects, promising a sweet reward. However, the rim of the pitcher, known as the peristome, is slippery, causing insects to lose their footing and tumble into the depths below. The interior walls are lined with downward-pointing hairs, preventing escape. Trapped in this liquid graveyard, the insect slowly drowns, and its body is broken down by digestive enzymes, providing the plant with essential nutrients. Venturing further into this verdant realm, we find ourselves surrounded by the lush greenery and the vibrant life of the jungle. The air is thick with the scent of earth and foliage, and the sounds of nature create a symphony that is both calming and invigorating. Amidst this thriving ecosystem, we encounter the cobra lily, a master of deception and survival. Its unique form, resembling a rearing cobra poised to strike, gives this carnivorous plant its name. The cobra lily employs a similar strategy to the pitcher plant, luring unsuspecting insects with a fragrant nectar. However, its trapping mechanism is even more intricate and fascinating. The cobra lily's hollow, inflated leaf acts as a pitfall trap, with a small opening at the base of the cobra's hood. Once an insect ventures inside, it becomes disoriented by translucent patches in the hood, which resemble escape routes. These patches create an illusion of freedom, but in reality, they lead the insect deeper into the trap. Exhausted and confused, the insect eventually succumbs to the pool of digestive fluids at the bottom of the trap. Here, the cobra lily absorbs the nutrients it needs to thrive in this competitive environment, showcasing the delicate balance of nature's design. Our journey into the fascinating world of carnivorous plants now takes us beneath the water's surface, where we encounter the remarkable bladderwort. This submerged predator employs a trapping mechanism unlike any other in the plant kingdom. The bladderwort possesses numerous tiny bladders attached to its underwater stems, each acting as a deadly trap waiting to be sprung. These bladders are vacuum-sealed and lined with sensitive trigger hairs, making them highly efficient. When a small aquatic animal, such as a water flea or mosquito larva, brushes against these hairs, the trap is instantly activated. The bladder rapidly inflates, creating a vacuum that sucks in water and the unsuspecting prey, all in a fraction of a second, showcasing nature's incredible speed and precision. Once trapped, the prey is digested by the plant's enzymes, providing the bladderwort with vital nutrients in its aquatic environment. This unique adaptation allows the bladderwort to thrive in nutrient-poor waters, making it a fascinating subject of study for botanists and nature enthusiasts alike. Emerging from the water, we encounter the Portuguese sundew, a glistening jewel of the plant world. This carnivorous plant captures its prey with a sticky embrace. The sundew's leaves are covered in hundreds of tiny tentacles, each tipped with a glistening droplet of mucilage, a thick, gluey substance. The glistening droplets attract insects, who mistake them for a sweet treat. However, upon landing, the insect finds itself hopelessly stuck. The more it struggles, the more ensnared it becomes as neighboring tentacles coil around the prey, suffocating it in a sticky embrace. The sundew then secretes digestive enzymes, breaking down the insect's body and absorbing its nutrients. Our exploration now takes us to Australia, home to the Biblis linaflora, also known as the rainbow plant. This carnivorous beauty lures insects with its vibrant colors and glistening foliage, but beneath its beauty lies a deadly trap. The Biblis linaflora is covered in glandular hairs that secrete a sticky mucilage similar to the sundew. Insects, drawn to the plant's vibrant appearance, become ensnared in the sticky secretions. The plant then releases digestive enzymes, breaking down the insect's body and absorbing its nutrients. The Biblis linaflora's ability to capture prey with both its leaves and stems makes it a formidable predator in the Australian outback. 
Next, we encounter the Trigger Plant, a carnivorous plant known for its lightning-fast reflexes. Unlike other carnivorous plants that rely on sticky traps or pitfall traps, the Trigger Plant employs a rapid movement mechanism to capture its prey. The Trigger Plant's leaves are equipped with tiny hairs, each acting as a trigger. When an insect brushes against these hairs, the plant springs into action. In a fraction of a second, the leaf folds shut, trapping the unsuspecting prey within. The trigger plant then secretes digestive enzymes, breaking down the insect's soft tissues and absorbing its nutrients. This remarkable adaptation allows the trigger plant to thrive in nutrient-poor environments. Our journey now takes us to North America, where we encounter the moccasin plant, a carnivorous plant named for its unique trapping mechanism. The moccasin plant's leaves resemble inflated pouches, much like a moccasin slipper. These pouches are lined with downward pointing hairs, preventing insects from escaping once they enter. The moccasin plant lures insects with a combination of sweet nectar and visual cues. The entrance to the pouch is lined with translucent patches, which resemble escape routes. However, these patches are deceptive, leading insects deeper into the trap. Once inside, the insect becomes disoriented and eventually succumbs to the pool of digestive fluids at the bottom of the pouch. Venturing into the wetlands, we encounter the corkscrew rush, a carnivorous plant with a unique adaptation for trapping prey. The corkscrew rush possesses specialized underground leaves that resemble corkscrews. These leaves are lined with inward-pointing hairs, creating a spiral pathway that leads unsuspecting prey to their doom. Small insects and microorganisms are lured into the corkscrew-shaped leaves by a combination of moisture and nutrients. Once inside, the inward-pointing hairs prevent escape, and the prey is slowly digested by the plant. The corkscrew rush's ability to capture prey underground allows it to thrive in nutrient-poor wetland environments. Returning to the aquatic realm, we encounter the waterwheel plant, a submerged predator that employs a snap trap mechanism similar to the Venus flytrap, but adapted for life underwater. The waterwheel plant's leaves resemble miniature wheels lined with sensitive trigger hairs. When a small aquatic animal, such as a water flea or mosquito larva, brushes against these hairs, the trap is sprung. The leaves snap shut in a fraction of a second, trapping the prey within. The waterwheel plant then secretes digestive enzymes, breaking down the prey's soft tissues and absorbing its nutrients. This remarkable adaptation allows the waterwheel plant to thrive in nutrient-poor aquatic environments. And finally, we arrive at the most iconic of all carnivorous plants, the Venus flytrap. This fascinating plant has intrigued botanists and nature enthusiasts alike for centuries. This remarkable plant has captured the imaginations of people worldwide with its lightning-fast reflexes and deadly traps. Its unique mechanism is a marvel of natural engineering, showcasing the incredible adaptability of plant life. The Venus flytrap's leaves are modified into two hinged lobes, each lined with sensitive trigger hairs. These hairs are so finely tuned that they can distinguish between living prey and non-living debris, ensuring the plant doesn't waste energy. When an insect lands on the leaf and brushes against these hairs, the trap is sprung. The precision of this action is astonishing, as it requires the insect to touch multiple hairs within a short period to trigger the trap. The lobe snaps shut in a fraction of a second, trapping the unsuspecting prey within. This rapid movement is powered by changes in cell turgor pressure, a process that is still being studied by scientists today. The Venus flytrap then secretes digestive enzymes, breaking down the insect's soft tissues and absorbing its nutrients. This process can take several days, during which the plant extracts essential minerals and nitrogen from its prey. This remarkable adaptation allows the Venus flytrap to thrive in nutrient-poor environments, such as bogs and swamps. By supplementing its diet with insects, the Venus flytrap can survive in places where other plants would struggle to find the necessary nutrients. Thanks for joining us on this thrilling journey into the world of carnivorous plants. From the slippery slopes of the tropical pitcher plant to the lightning-fast reflexes of the Venus flytrap, 
These extraordinary organisms have evolved ingenious ways to survive in nutrient-poor environments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating nature videos. Stay curious, and see you next time.